I am and always have been a lover of nature. For me, there is a fundamental link between my connection to the earth and my own well-being. And so, I go to the wild places to be well, to seek out a place within myself that is ancient, that pulls me from the depths of time so that it can be touched, felt and honoured. I express this honour through art, the way all of our human ancestors have done for millennia. It seems instinctual to make art about our place within the landscape, our home now and for the future. I want closeness when I travel through wilderness, and so the canoe and the rivers usually take me there. It is an honest way to go. We get immersed or dipped into the natural world completely and are allowed to become wholly a part of nature while on our journey. This is spring. There are thousands of newly arrived migrant birds who have traveled a long, perilous journey to be in this wilderness to breed. Here on these waterways, a way of life for the indigenous First Nations of this region, the Mi'kmaq, stretches back thousands of years. This too is their home. And for me, I come to these places to dwell with the natural rhythms the First Nations know so well, and to try to grasp the ancient natural history of this place and to be in awe of it. What I've learned after a lifetime in nature is that there is little that separates humans from all other species. We are intrinsically connected to the natural world the way a bird is to the forest. Well, I can hear the rain beating on the tent. That's supposed to be a fast moving system. I'm in here, I've just um, had some coffee. This is where I live. After thunderstorms, incessant insects, hours of paddling and portaging, wet clothes and warm fires, we discovered that we are just fine. That the perceived hardship is not hardship at all. We have settled into routines and discovered a deep yearning that is being taken care of. We are fully aware, present and whole. We are a consciousness moving through the landscape, one sweep of the paddle at a time. You will know this if you have experienced anything remotely like our own journey. All of us on this wilderness journey into the Toby Attic come to connect to something within, something that dwells in the subconscious, something that we may only just get glimpses of during our lifetimes.
Gary is down straight over there to the shell bar. The beautiful part of being in nature is that we come to relate to it. The more we go, the deeper the relationship. We come to identify with not just our own sense of self, but with all living things. It is this broadening of our sense of self to encompass all of life that will lessen the current demise of the Earth's diversity. We truly are all in this together. At the time of this journey deep into the Tobiatic wilderness of Nova Scotia, there were 31 endangered species in this province and 256 species either extinct or in trouble in Canada. Around the planet, the World Wildlife Fund lists 22,000 species listed as critically endangered in the world. There is much work to be done. <laughs> 